Because we share. Because we share. Anyway, uh, this is what I call hardware management heaven. Um, in my job, I, I actually, uh, one of the things I like about it is I get to see what other customers are doing. And uh, sometimes I get good ideas, sometimes not such good ideas. And, um, you know, sometimes we see dumps, of course, we're working on things. Anyway, we had a situation recently where we actually got a look at their HMC. We were helping them configure something. I think it might have been an LPAR capacity group. But anyway, um, and they had the old original HMC. It looked just like it was OS2 running on the original 9672 RX1. And you guys remember I mentioned that particular machine uh, in the uh, program opening on Monday. We had one of those. We had an R11, later on an R21. And uh, it, it was interesting because I hadn't seen that in a long, long time. And so we were talking to them about this, and I guess this is one of those, you know, things they don't really get into very often. They hardly ever touch their HMC. Mostly they let IBM do everything. And um, so they were actually unaware that there were other cooler, better ways to operate your HMC. And so that just reminded me of a presentation here in the Bitbucket that I had done back in Atlanta called uh, View from the Topo. And I was talking about this topology of view capability that existed in the HMC. And um, so I'm, I'm going to revisit that a little bit this time. I took a little bit more time here to take a really good look at it and, and uh, go into it a little more than I did before. So it's not a repeat, but it is the, uh, the, the same uh, idea. And maybe it's timely. Is how many Are there people here, I'm just curious, still using the classic view? They call it the classic view on... All right, there's still Mary Ann. So for those of you that are using the classic view, this you're going, well, yeah, of course. It looks just like that, except the fonts are a little different than they were back in OS2 days. When they switched to Linux, I don't know, they needed some free fonts or something they didn't want to spend money on. I don't know what the deal was. <laughs> they got these fonts. So anyway, the way this thing works is you have this, uh, you know, task, this notion of a task area and you can either uh, rotate these little buttons at the bottom to loop into the one you want. So, so you, you uh, have these little guys right there, you can loop through the, the choices and originally there was only a few different categories of these things, so it wasn't too long, but after a while now we've built up many different categories. So the other thing you could do to, to find what tasks you want is go into this task list which of course replaces everything here and then you figure out which group of tasks you want. You can open that up, which you know, replaces again in here. Find the tasks you're interested in, put, put them over on that, on that side, the task pane, and then go back over here and open up your groups again. Find the single object, you can select multiple objects, uh, or a whole group, whatever that you want to do. And then once you have that selection in place, you can either drag and drop, or you could double click on the task over on the right. Now, don't get me wrong, when this thing came out in 1994, it was like magic, you know. What we had before that was so bad in comparison that this thing was like really, really cool stuff. But, you know, that was 21 years ago and 13 hardware generations, as I mentioned on Monday, and other better technologies have emerged. So this is the thing called the HMC tree style. It is the only way that IBM uh, basically works on our machine. When they come in, they don't even bother with anything else. Uh, and all of ours are set up to use this. And what's cool about the tree style is you, you never lose your context. When you, when, you're, when you select something, like I talked about on the other one, you're always replacing. You know, you're getting a full screen that's, and you're having to essentially remember where you are in a tree of things. Whereas on a tree view, everything is, you know, you're seeing the full context. Also, all the tasks are automatically being, um, uh, uh, assigned for you, the, the correct list of things that you could do, actions that make sense for you, are all being in context changed depending on whatever it is you're doing in this thing. And I know that most of you are using this, so this is not new news, um, but it is, you know, that's what they call it, the tree style. And by the way, some configurations need this, right? I think you need it for ensemble management. There's some other things I think you need it for. 
So it, it really is the direction of things. And originally, uh, our uh, Top Gun told me they were going to uh, phase out the other one, but they never did. Anyway, so when you have, here's an example of the tree style with the CPC selected. So I've got systems up here. I put a dot right there next to the, the, the uh, CPC. We only have one, right? And then automatically, all these task choices are customized for that right there. And what I like to do if I'm on this screen is press this little plus here that opens everything up so I can see all the choices rather than having to fight my way through a menu. One thing that a lot of people don't see is this, is this little topology tab up there. Anybody seen or used play with this topology tab? So if you go out to that topology tab and you, and you click on that, you now get this other view, the topology view, which I view is very good for me because my eyesight is not what it used to be. And I happen to like big fonts. So that's one of the cool things about it is it has these big fonts. In our case, there's just the one system, right? If you have multiple systems that the HMC is managing, obviously you're going to see multiple uh, uh, icons in this view. And then at the top here, you know, I can click that to expand. <clears throat> now within the, the um, topology view, there are different layouts, they call it. And right here you have the tree layout, the hierarchical layout, circular layout, uniform length layout, and grid layout. So you have choices for what you want to be able to do there. Here's what I get when I click that thing to expand it and see all, and in this case, I'm using that original tree layout. Now, that's a little confusing. I know we have the tree style. Now we're reusing a word. IBM never does that. <laughs> they never reuse a word. They never reuse a three-letter acronym, TLA, right? Never. Um, but you really have to worry about that because, honestly, if you're just using the tree style and you get used to it, that's just your HMC. You're not even using the word tree anymore, so in this case, you have a tree layout. And it's showing, in this case, all of our LPARs right here, uh, you know, basically taking up the whole screen. Now, the next one I have is the hierarchical layout. And, you know, these things, it's just a personal preference, whichever looks best for you. And I would imagine that if you have lots of elements, that some of these views might work better than others, okay? So we just have uh, however many are here, eight or whatever. But, you know, if you had 60 LPARs, then maybe, maybe there's a difference in how these things look. That's the circular one right there, which I think is kind of cool. And this is the uniform length. And well, the big difference between that and tree is just that the arrows are all the same length. And, and lastly, the grid layout. And you, I'm just showing one line here, but I did prove that if I squeeze my screen down, it, it does multiple rows. So, you know, if you had a lot, you'd see multiple. What you have are zoom controls. So over on the left, you have the ability to zoom in, zoom out, bring it out to full screen. Or um, on the right, to the right of that, there are cursor controls. This one here is the select mode for the, for the cursor. The middle one is pan mode. So if you're in pan mode, you can move the image around with your, with your cursor. And this last one is like zoom cursor mode where you take the cursor and you can draw a square on your picture and it'll zoom up that square. Okay? So this shows what it looks like zoomed in. And then also for any one choice, uh, any one object on there, you also can right click on it and zoom to it or center it. So you can move the picture all around. So there's also this notion of a um, overview, and there's a control for that. You can turn it on and off. And when you have the overview, and I probably shouldn't have used the grid because it's kind of the least interesting looking one, but I was just going in order. But uh, wherever you are on the map here, and then whatever your little selection is there, right, this is like an inset on a map, right? You get a map of Seattle. It shows the whole area, but maybe the downtown area has an inset, and it's, and it's larger. So that's what you have there is this inset. And so you can see where you are in the map, and therefore you can move this around and have it make sense. You can also click over here in the overview and, and move your view around over there. So if you want to see different parts of your, of your map, you can, you can essentially move this big part around. Okay? So there I selected it. And when I did, I got my traditional little uh, uh, button over there on the right that allows me to pull up menus. And uh, there's what a menu looks like. In this case, I've uh, selected my favorite choice of all, the one that I tend to use more than any other thing, and that's IPL. Why do we IPL more than any other thing? Because we write software and sometimes <laughs> we have problems. But anyway, uh, 
So hopefully, um, this, you, you, some people here found this interesting. We think it's cool stuff. I personally think it's neat and uh, wanted to share it with you today. So 